Hey guys, it's Joanna here. You're probably watching this video because you would like to know your body type and how you should work out and eat correctly in order to achieve the best results. We are all created differently, but equally just as beautiful. Typically, there are three body types. So there are the ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. Your genetic predisposes you to one of the three body types. You can't change that. However, with the right workout plan, meal plan, hard work, and dedication, you can work and get closer to another body type. So very few of us fall perfectly into one of the three categories. So as you watch this video, you might discover that you are a mix of two body types. But let's just work with understanding the three body types and how you can work and exercise and eat correctly according to your body type. Some of the information in this video is based on the Women's Fitness Specialist course I did with the National Academy of Sports Medicine, NASM. So if you would like to go into more detail to learn about healthy living, especially to help others to get healthy, the NASM is currently offering a 14-day free trial to their online personal training course. And I have to share this opportunity with you guys because I think it's an excellent platform to kickstart your fitness journey and career. So if you're interested, link and more details is in my description box. So let's start by understanding the ectomorph. They are naturally thin, they have smaller bone structure, thinner limbs, shorter upper body, longer legs and arms, narrow feet and hands. Basically, there isn't much difference between the size of their shoulders, hips and waist. They have very little fat storage and a small amount of muscle mass. They have a very high metabolism, which makes it very difficult for them to gain weight. So just think of the typical endurance athlete or your skinny model looking friends. Some of the celebrities include Kate Moss, Kiara Knightley, Taylor Swift, Kate Middleton, Justin Bieber, and Jared Leto. If you're an ectomorph, typically your goal is to gain weight. As for your food intake, aim for high amount of carbs, moderate amount of protein, and low amount of healthy fat. So think of consuming between 50 to 55% of carbs, 25 to about 30% of protein, and about 20% of healthy fat. The goal is to eat a lot more and have higher calorie intake than what you are currently consuming right now. So whatever that you're consuming right now, you should eat 750 to 1000 calories more per day. A good foundation to start is think about consuming between 2 to 2.5 grams of carbs per pound of your body weight and 1.5 grams of protein per pound of your body weight. So since your metabolism is very high, try to eat every two to four hours. It can be tough to constantly eat and eat lots of food. So think about drinking your calories and consume calorie dense food. So here's a typical meal for an ectomorph man. Three cups of carb dense food, two pumps of protein dense food, two fists of vegetables, and one thumb of fat-dense food. As for the ectomorph women, two cups of carb-dense food, one palm of protein-dense food, one fist of vegetables, and half a thumb of fat-dense food. When it comes to exercising, your main focus is strength training. Aim for four to five sessions per week, and go for moderate to heavy weights. Aim between six to 10 reps per set and take longer rest between sets, so about one to two minutes. Perform compound movements. Compound movements are basically exercises that works on several muscles or muscle groups at once. And because compound movements recruit a large number of muscle fibers, it is the most effective way to build muscle mass and quickest to gain strength. Some of the examples include squats, lunges, push-ups, bent over roll, chin up, deadlifts, and more. As for your cardio, reduce on your cardio. So in between 15 to 20 minutes, two to three times per week. If you can, treat your cardio as you warm up to avoid burning too much calories. So cardio is still important to increase stamina and to improve heart health. I would recommend you to watch my best tips to gain weight for skinny women video. So let's move on to the next body type, mesomorph. Typically, they are known as the good genes. 
They have medium-sized bone structure and athletic body. If they are active, usually they have a very nice proportionate body with good amount of lean muscles. They have a high metabolism but not as high as an ectomorph. And if they maintain a healthy lifestyle, eat a well-balanced diet, it is typically very easy for them to maintain a healthy weight. They can put on weight if they slack off. But once they get back into their fitness routine and eat well, the weight comes off pretty easily as well. And if they work towards gaining lean muscles, it is easier for them as well. So some of the celebrities include Jennifer Lawrence, Halle Berry, Rihanna, The Rock, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. So if you are a mesomorph, typically your goal is to lean up. So basically, you want to maintain your current body weight, but to lose some body fat and to add more lean muscles. So as for your food intake, think of a balance between carbs, protein, and healthy fat. So it should roughly be 40% of carbs, 40% of protein, and 20% of healthy fat. As for your total calorie intake, you should be eating enough to maintain your current body weight. However, if your goal is to lose a little bit of weight, then reduce on your total calories slightly. So a typical meal for a mesomorph man includes 2 cups of carb-dense food, 2 pumps of protein-dense food, 2 fists of vegetables, and 2 thumbs of fat-dense food. As for a mesomorph woman, 1 cup of carb-dense food, 1 pump of protein-dense food, one fist of vegetables, and one thumb of fat-dense food. So it is pretty much a balance of everything. As for exercising, you should focus equally on both strength and cardio training. So when it comes to strength training, we want to combine both compound and isolation movements. Isolation movements are exercises that only focus on one muscle group at one time. Isolation is important if you're looking to define and shape the muscles in a more aesthetic manner. So isolation movements will help to develop the muscles once you have built a certain level of muscle mass. Hence, it is important to combine both compound and isolation movements together. Some of the examples include bicep curls, tricep extensions, leg curls, legs, leg extensions, calf raises, and more. Go for moderate to heavy weights, so in between 8 to 12 repetitions per set and rest between 30 to 90 seconds per set. And aim to perform your strength training 3 to 4 times weekly and your cardio is equally just as important. So perform your cardio 3 to 4 times weekly as well. And have at least 45 to 60 minutes of quality workout session. And the final body type is the endomorph. An endomorph has larger bone structure with high amount of total body mass and fat cells. They have a soft body appearance and are naturally curvy. They have lower metabolism and usually gain fat pretty easily. So they have to pay a lot more attention to their food intake in order to get fit. If they maintain an active lifestyle, they can build a lot of muscle mass as well. But they will still have to watch over their food intake in order to maintain a lean body. Some of the celebrities include Oprah Winfrey, Jennifer Hudson, Mariah Carey, Kim Kardashian, Jonah Hill, and Jack Black. Typically, your goal is to lose weight, and you have a lower carb tolerance as well. What this means is that you should reduce on your carb intake. So just think of low carbs, high protein, and moderate amount of healthy fat. So it should roughly be between 25 to 30% of carbs, 40% of protein, and 25 to 30% of healthy fat. I know most of you think that if you want to lose weight, you should reduce on your fat intake. In fact, this is not true. If you want to lose weight, reduce on your carbs and eat a moderate amount of healthy fats, not the unhealthy fats. So eating a good amount of fish, which are high in omega-3 fatty acid, olive oil, and also nuts can actually help with weight loss. This is because fat slows down the digestive system, which means keeping you fuller for much longer and reduce craving. Fat also burns fat. So by telling your body that you're getting a constant supply of healthy fat, your body will be more willing to let go the fat that it is currently holding. So if your goal is to lose weight, don't go on a low-fat diet. Instead, reduce on your carb intake. 
But remember that fat is still high in calories, so consume in moderation. As for your total calorie intake, you should be eating less than what you are currently eating right now, but still enough for you to maintain an active lifestyle. So aim to eat smaller portions but more regularly in order to keep your metabolism on the higher end. I would encourage you to watch my How to Count Your Calories to Lose Weight video. So a typical meal for an endomorph man includes one cup of carb-dense food, two pumps of protein-dense food, two fists of vegetables, and two to three thumbs of fat-dense food. As for an endomorph woman, half a cup of carb-dense food, one pump of protein-dense food, one fist of vegetables, and one to two thumbs of fat-dense food. As for your training, include compound movements with shorter rest in between sets. Besides the benefits of building strength and increasing lean muscles, compound movements with shorter rest will help to burn fat more effectively. So go for moderate weights between 8 to 15 reps per set and rest between 30 to 60 seconds in between sets. You would also want to include superset trainings. What this means is performing two exercises back to back without resting. So for instance, doing push-ups and bent over row back to back without resting. This will help to burn more calories and shed fat quicker. Interval and circuit trainings are also very effective for you, which is basically what most of my workout videos are structured upon. And remember that if your goal is to lose weight, cardio should be the core of your training mixed in with strength training. So do not neglect on your cardio. So aim for two to three sessions of strength training per week and four to five sessions of cardio per week and go for at least 45 to 60 minutes of quality session. Cardio will help to burn the extra calories. Strength training will help to build the muscles, increase mass, and increase your metabolism. But remember that it all still comes down to your food intake. So watch over your food intake, do your workout, and you will start to lose weight. I would also encourage you to watch my How Much Should I Eat to Lose Weight video. So, do you know what is your body type? Are you an ectomorph, mesomorph, or endomorph? Or a mix between two? Let me know in the comments below. Remember that no matter what body type you are, hard work and dedication means everything. So with the right workout and meal plans, we can all achieve our fitness goals. So do not blame it on the genes. Direct links to all the videos I've mentioned is right at the end of this video. So if you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumb up and share it with someone who might benefit from this video. All the best.